what is up everybody well it is january 11th 2023 at about two or 2024 at about two in the morning and we are at the sessions hotel and retreat this place is absolutely great but it just started snowing say hi baby hey guys <laughs> she's gonna crash out while i go catch our snow here so wasn't supposed to start till a lot later bye see bye babe soon. see you in a few all right we got the time lapse going here as well. You guys can see the time lapse right there. Oh yeah. Nice fireplace. Yeah, this wasn't supposed to start at all for a few more hours. And it was showing that it might not even happen. So let's go do this. Let's go do this, y'all. And don't forget, on the... We've got that giveaway that we're doing for the Airbnb. And I believe we're doing the giveaway on, on Friday. So let, let, let me just, do, I'll double verify that. I mean, I should know exactly when. I'm, if, if it's not this Friday, it's next Friday. We'll be picking the winner, but for some reason, I feel like it is this Friday which is pretty darn awesome. As, as I told you guys, first place prizes, you win an Air, Airbnb in Moonridge next to Bear Mountain. It's a great, great, great spot. Second place prize is gonna win one of our like 60 or $70 hoodies made by Champion. They're phenomenal guys, I mean phenomenal. And then third place is gonna win 50 bucks cash. So looking forward to this. So looking forward to this. And also, don't forget, go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. We dropped some new merch last week, some calm before the storm stuff, and uh, I, I think you guys are going to absolutely love it. Look, it just started snowing, and we got some little snow blowing. All right, we're going to make a left out of here. Oh, I love seeing the snow blowing on the street. I've been staring out the darn window all night because it's... I figured it was gonna start snowing before it's supposed to. There's nothing on the radar right now, but of course this is happening again. So thank goodness I make myself stay up so I don't miss any of this. Hang on a second, I'm gotta get this windshield defrosted. But yeah, also, we're coming up here to get boards on the left-hand side. And if you go to get boards and mention the channel, they will wax skis and snowboard free of charge folks free of charge and yeah this is messed up windshield right now so we can the moment the owner's name is Tony he's a wonderful wonderful guy they've got a couple shops right here let's see here on the next block we're, we're coming up to it in just a second Here's one of the get board shops right here, right on the corner on Big Bear Boulevard, right next to the village, and we got another one right here on this corner, the corner of Knickerbocker. Oh yeah. So don't forget, you gotta mention that I, I sent you guys, and uh, they will take care of you. They got some killer stuff there too, guys. Um, all your rentals there will be cheaper than at the resort, like significantly cheaper, as well as you can go to getboards.com and actually order your uh, um, your lift ticket from getboards.com, just to make things easier. Sorry about this, sorry about the uh, windshield, it's, it's defrosting, I, I had to rush out here though. So it is... Just about 2 a.m. We're driving through the absolutely beautiful village and there's gonna be no one here, obviously. But we're gonna head over towards the snowiest part of town just to make sure we catch the heaviest of the potential from this little, little itty bitty system. For more hookups, guys, in the comments section also, for uh, you can either get it from the comment section, Ski Warrior Goggles, or you can go to Big Bear Weather and More. We've integrated Ski Warrior goggles on there also with the uh, discount code so you guys can save a fortune and, and get the most awesome push to talk goggles ever. These things are sick. All right. Ah, look at the 
snow in the street blowing around again. I love it. I love it. I love it. So hopefully everyone's having a great morning. Most of you are probably going to be asleep by the time this uploads. This is going to be uploaded in probably an hour and a half. We'll do another 20 minutes on this drive and then we're going to have to go back to my house to upload the video with a really fast internet compared to the hotel because I, I plug it in to my one gig internet and it, it's pretty darn fast. I always like getting these videos up as soon as humanly possible for you guys. I love being the only one on the road. I love it, I love it, I love it. As I've always mentioned, between the village and the Big Bear Dam is the snowier part of town. That's where we're headed right now. The snowflakes are definitely picking up just right around that corner as well as some of the fog. You're gonna love this hotel called Sessions Retreat. It's a Sessions Hotel and Retreat. It's freaking awesome. It is absolutely awesome. This owner, you guys, wait till you see the video. He is such a cool dude. And he's absolutely doing something that not many other businesses up here do, which is like have like very low prices. It's it's shocking. It's shocking. I've got a one of their big standalone cabins for my wife and I. This uh, this will be our third night there and we're checking out tomorrow morning. But um, it's, uh, for us, through, through Expedia, it was like 190 something per night. It's a pretty big place, you'll see. Um, they have other rooms for like, man, I, th I thought I saw some prices close to like 90 bucks. And these are nice, new, renovated rooms you guys he's really taking care of people and I want to help anybody up here who absolutely sees you guys as the priority and he definitely does this is incredible out here <clears throat> his name is Frank and uh, they've they've got event halls there you can you can rent out they've got this lodge which is you can rent out the whole lodge. It's got a bunch of bedrooms upstairs and like multiple game rooms downstairs and just beautiful decor. Um, it, it's got kind of a haunted feel to it. Like, I love it. I absolutely love it. So Rachel and I are, are gonna end up renting the whole, oh wow, it's really, really bad over here. We're gonna rent the whole lodge just for she and I 
one of these days to do a video for you guys. He was nice enough to let us do a video in, inside the lodge just to show you guys what it looks like so you'll be able to see it. But I'd like to stay there. Um, yeah, guys, I'm always, and I'm telling you always, trying to find the best accommodations I can for you guys that's going to fit your financial situations um, as well as what you expect up here. I want you guys to have a wonderful time. It's so important to me that you guys have a great time when you're here because then you guys come back and inject our economy with more finances and it just it just helps everyone up here who really wants to live here. So whatever you guys need from me, don't ever hesitate to ask. I will always be here whatever I can do to help. True pleasure. place called Sessions. It's right across the street from McDonald's and 7-Eleven on Big Bear Boulevard. Just a great location. You're walking distance from the village. I mean, it's, 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 it's a little bit of a walk, but it's walking distance. You're right down the street from Snow Summit, not far from the grocery stores. I mean, it's a fantastic location. And I am so honored to be able to promote that hotel. Now, when it comes to the Airbnb situation, you guys understand that uh, that we have a good friend on, on the channel who's doing the Air, Airbnb giveaway for you guys. And his Airbnb has been my, not just because he's doing this for, for all of you, but because it is my favorite Airbnb in which I've stayed up here. And I've stayed in quite a few. I, I have the, most of the videos in the lodging section of the playlist, so you guys can actually see. But I think... Uh, I think whomever wins, you're going to be super happy. And right outside the master bedroom there too is, is a really comfortable hot tub. It's just great, guys. Sit in the hot tub while it's snowing outside. Oh, it just doesn't get, it, get any better than that. So, yeah. I love doing these giveaways for you guys. I love it. I mean, I really, really, really love it. Any opportunity that I have, I'm always doing what I can. It's just gonna keep getting better and better for you guys. Someday we'll have our our own bed and breakfast up here, and uh, you guys are, are gonna just be absolutely taken care of. And those of you who can't afford it, you know, we're definitely gonna find ways to accommodate you. I want to be that guy. I want to be the one to give back in spades. Not only is it the right thing to do, but it feels so good to see other people smile and maybe even shed a tear because of nice things that you're doing for them. It's, it's, it's wonderful to impact people's lives like that. And on this channel, we have that ability to do that. I mean, you guys bring me to my knees all the time with how loving and kind you guys are towards me. It's a very beautiful thing. Wow, look at that cloud just fly right into the camera. So yeah, we'll probably get maybe a quarter inch snow at the most out of this thing it's it's once again guys it's a disappointment it's not going to be much not much at all but you know what this is what i do i catch every snow event that we possibly ever have and i love doing it so we're almost to, to the village We're getting, in terms of strength of snow right now, light snow. A little more than flurries. It's a light snow right now. And we're gonna end up coming back through here. We're not gonna drive all the way around Fonskin right now. We're just gonna do this wonderful little drive. Oh my 
gosh, look at that. It is foggy. We're at the dam now. Look at how foggy this is. Holy smokes. <laughs> this is really cool. All right, we're gonna turn right and then uh, turn around here. Just awesome sauce. All right, so this is Highway 38. There's no cars coming in either direction. So we're going to turn around here and head back over here. Going back, you guys, even though it's the same route, it's a completely different, it, you, if you didn't know know this town or know this road, it, it's, it's, it, it's a completely different look. Wow, look at that, guys, that is so cool. guys I love doing this I know I'm obsessive compulsive about it but you know what I love doing this and my ability to help keep people safer and give you guys suggestions that I would give to my mom to keep you guys as safe as humanly possible I, it's you guys don't understand how rewarding it is to, to be able to do this for you guys and at the same time, doing this takes away a lot of my depression, temporarily. So I really enjoy it. And I know a lot of you, it helps calm you guys down as well. anytime soon let me know and again let me know if you have any questions I am absolutely honored to give my two cents so you guys can have the best time possible I know it gets a bit redundant, the one that's done at my house all the time, but, you know, it's part of the channel, it's what I love love to do, it's, it's all part of my broadcasting and storming for you guys, so thank you, few folks who like to watch my time lapses, I really enjoy them. But yeah, you might want to, if you're, if, if you're coming up, uh, Later this morning, you might want to give 800 Caltrans a call or um, go onto the Caltrans website. It's really, really simple. You click on the drop down menu on the top, and then there will be something that says like travel plans or something like that. You click on there, and then it'll, it'll have a box for you to type in the highway numbers you perceive you might be coming up here on. So you can type in all three of, three of, of the major ones up here. 
38, 330, and 18. Just put a space in between each one, and when you hit enter, it'll populate whatever the conditions are on all three of those rows, and it's the most up-to-date information you can get. I'm worried that I might be asleep for a couple hours when, uh, when folks are trying to drive up here at 7, 8 in the morning. So just make sure, if I'm not responding to your comments, I hope other people would help, but if I'm not responding, it's because I'm getting those couple hours of sleep that I never get, and I want you guys to be safe. talk to you guys about something else uh, so as you guys know I'm I get really really depressed really bad it, it, it's been like that for a very long time one of our good friends on this channel Jason uh, super bright guy um, he's a doctor and uh, he got me to get this this stuff <laughs> for the life of me I can't remember the name but it's an over-the-counter um, like really good antidepressant that he absolutely swears by. And unlike SSRIs, it takes maybe just a, a couple days in most cases for it to start having some sort of effect on you. Unlike two, two and a half or three months of taking SSRIs. So I just started taking them yesterday and I'm gonna keep you guys posted on my progress because if these things help me out, I'm gonna be screaming it on the mountaintops for all of you. Because I have a lot of good, good conversations with a lot of you guys who are struggling just like me emotionally and uh, yeah if so I'm doing everything I can you guys to get it figured out it is 50 something dollars per month so because I have all these other bills and it literally leaves me with nothing at the end, end of each month um, you know I'm, I'm I'm finding ways to take care of it but I'm just hoping that it does work because then no matter what I will always find a way because your peace of mind and sanity is so worth it <laughs> it's, it, you know it's absolutely worth it and 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 this this medication doesn't have any negative side effects unlike the regular prescription ones and so yeah it, it just seems all in all good and as I said I will let you guys know how it how it works I will always be honest with you. All right. So those of you still watching, do you want to see the shortcut and back way to get to Moon Ridge? Moon Ridge Road? Assuming there's a lot of traffic right here bumper to bumper and you'll have to drive through just the whole The whole village or turn left ahead of the village on Big Bear Boulevard and just stay in that bumper to bumper traffic Well, I'm gonna show you guys. It is foggy. It is snowing But it'll be easy to show you all because there's really no one on the road And there's this guy but So you're on Big Bear Boulevard, right? just going to want to stay straight and go into the village. Do not divert from this at all. Once you're all the way through the village, you stay straight on this. Right now, this is Big Bear Boulevard. If Once we hit this stoplight and go straight, it turns into Village Drive. And once we're out of the village and we get to Knickerbocker Street and stay straight, that turns into Pennsylvania. So it's Big Bear Boulevard. Stay straight through the village. And you're on Village Drive here now. And then we will be on Pennsylvania Avenue soon if we don't make any turns. It's the only reason we're going through this part of the village again.
the Stater Brothers. I came out to get back in my car and there was a $10 bill sitting on the ground. I could not believe it. Could not believe it. There was no one else around me. So I didn't feel all that bad about picking it up. There was no one near me. The, the parking lot was empty. There was like one car on the opposite side of the parking lot. So I was just like happy days. <laughs> it was really great. It was fantastic, my friend. All right, so this is still Village Drive. Once we go through this stop sign, which is Knickerbocker, we are turning into Pennsylvania Avenue as the snow is coming down pretty good now. For about 15 minutes it got really windy it went from nothing to really windy and then the wind basically stopped and it and i looked outside and it was snowing so remember guys i haven't turned at all ever since i was on big bear boulevard coming from the big bear dam i stayed completely straight i didn't make any deviations and that's what you want to continue to do. At this point, when you get up here, <clears throat> there will be a stop sign at the end of this road. And, the, and, and you can't go straight. You have to go right or left. You're going to make a left. And this street up here is called Jeffries. I'm telling you guys, this is going to save you a load of time. Just make sure you're not speeding through here. There's, there's a lot of kids, especially when there's snow. Lots of kids will be out here sledding on their lawns and stuff like that. So... Alright, left turn on Jeffries. And your first right here, this is called Oak. You turn right on Oak. And to the left is a football field. So you'll know that you're on the right street if you're driving uh, and the football field's on your left. So we're going to stay on Oak and then eventually up here, not too far, we're going to turn left on um, Eureka. Remember you guys can always rewind and fast forward through through each step, but I promise you guys this is going to change your lives up here. I promise. And it's snowing nice and moderately right now. It's, it's a moderate light snow if there is such a thing. <laughs> okay, this is Eureka. Make a left on Eureka. It says no through traffic past this street anyway, so it's really easy to know that you have to turn here. And we're gonna take this to the end where it starts to curve around to the right. And then where it starts to curve, the street turns into McWinnie. Like McWinnie the Pooh. So we'll turn right here. That's the end. And boom. We're gonna end up taking this to, um, oh man, why am I, uh, to Ren, W-R-E-N. Like Ren and Stimpy. You can't go straight, so you have to turn left or right, and we're gonna turn left. And then your second street up here on the right hand side is called Brownie Lane. You're gonna turn right on Brownie Lane and take this all the way till you hit Moon Ridge Road. It's that simple. And I'm telling you, when there's a boatload of bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic on, on the boulevard, this stretch is typically not going to be much different than it is right now. I promise you guys, it, it sounds weird that you'd think there'd be quite a bit more traffic, but still a much faster route. But in a lot of cases, there's not that much traffic on, on this route, even when we do have a ton of people up here. So if we stay straight here, once again, we're gonna get to Moon Ridge, but we're gonna turn right here and go through the Snow Summit parking lot. 
I want to see what it, what it looks like up here as we climb in elevation. We're still getting a little bit of snow. And it's going to pick up the closer we get to Snow Summit. And it's picking up. And it's going to continue to pick up just in this short little stretch here. Remember, this is the exit route when you're at Snow Summit. This is the way they direct you to leave. But obviously, it's 2.30 in the morning. There's, there's not going to be really anyone here except for maybe the snowmakers and stuff like that. Snowmakers and snow groomers. But yeah, it's definitely coming down a lot better since we're right up against the mountain. Watching this has any connections at these uh, little condos let me know I'd like to take my wife there and do a video there because it just looks like a really great spot right next to the mountain fast the clouds are moving. I don't know if you can tell, but if you look at that light, wow, it's snowing pretty good right here. This is great. come into Moon Ridge a little bit past where Brownie would be but that's where we're gonna shut it down or actually you know what we, we might as well since this might be it for the storm go by Bear and just to see how heavy it's snowing over there I think that's a good idea all right we're gonna turn right on Evergreen we're on Summit Boulevard right now folks and we're gonna turn here and take this all the way till we get to Moon Ridge.
that's right across the street from my house, which is a little tiny, teeny weeny little shack. But you know what? It's all good. We got a little deal with uh, Tough Shed, and they hooked it up for an incredible price for this shed that's almost the size of my house. It's so great. I can't wait to start moving stuff into the shed. Come, come tomorrow to declutter my place, and so my wife and I can can be at peace again. It's, it's been it's been rough. It's been rough, but. It's going to be worth it. And I left a bunch of information on Tough Shed for you guys. The Riverside Branch, you want to talk to Roberto Vasquez. He'll take care of you. You just got to mention me, and he will take care of you guys. The information will be in the comments section as well. changing color over here just like on the other side there gosh I can't wait to declare the winners guys I can't wait I get so anxious so much anxiety getting ready to uh, 
have the winners drawn for, for these prizes. It's just so cool. It's such, it's so cool, guys. So I hope a lot of you have gone to the Instagram page, read the instructions on how to enter. Um, wouldn't hurt, you know, wouldn't hurt. And I, I'm assuming there's, there's not gonna be a whole ton of people because it's kind of a newer thing that we're doing is to go follow me on Instagram and so forth and so on. So, um, yeah, I mean, you, you might have a fantastic chance because I don't think there's gonna be that many people. And no matter what, we're doing the giveaways. Even if if only one person entered, then that, that one person will win all three prizes. <laughs> right now if I didn't know where I am or where I'm going right now this would be very scary through the camera you can see a lot better than just just looking out the windshield of course I'm never driving using my camera I promise you that but it's just interesting how through the camera I can see through a lot of this fog it's really odd snow still still coming down pretty good guys once we get through this part of moon ridge i'm gonna start getting ready to upload this bad boy for y'all as always thank you guys for being here with me i love sharing these experiences with you guys you guys have been in my corner for so many years and so many of you have stuck with me for such a long time um thanks for putting up with me my mood swings everything that i go through i can be such a pain in the butt sometimes and uh i just thank you guys the bottom of my heart for being patient with me don't forget as i said go to bigbearweatheredmore.com to get your new merch and those ski warrior goggles there's a link there for you guys and don't forget the discount code um, good luck to you guys entering the sweepstakes to win the airbnb the hoodie and the 50 bucks and uh yeah your get bored stuff as I said, if you want free wax on your skis and snowboard, go to Get Boards and tell them that I sent you, and they will hook it up. Thank you guys again. Endless amounts of thank yous. And until next time, if it starts to pick up a little later and gets a lot heavier, of course I'll be back out. Otherwise, there's just gonna be an aftermath video and then the time lapse, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, take care guys. I love you guys. It's January 11th, 2024. And uh, I just wish you a wonderful rest of your week. Stay safe out there. And let me help keep you safe if you guys are coming up here. Until next time, I love you all. Peace out.